Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. So how do some of the older Call of Duty games play on the new generation of consoles? I've recently got a PlayStation 5 and I've wanted to go back and play some of these older Call of Duty games, I really love them. And in this video I'm going to be taking a look at Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. A game that very much divided opinion, but I personally really love this game. It's a game that I keep going back to and I really enjoy it. I think the maps have been really well designed in this game. They're very atmospheric. I like all the little graphical touches. There's a lot going on and they're just generally for me a very fun place to play some Call of Duty in. So anyway, what I wanted to do is take a look at this game running on PlayStation 5 talk about how it looks, how it performs, are there any issues and how did I get on using the new PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. In this game, obviously it's a game that relies very much on being very mobile, you need to jump and slide around, lots of boost jumping and so on, so how could I cope with a standard PS5 controller? In terms of the gameplay, we're on the map Mayday and I'm using the Type 2 Atomic. This is a gun which lets you potentially get a nuclear or a deatomizer strike as it was called in this game. Do I get one? Well, keep watching and you will find out. So first of all, how does this game actually look? Well, when you're starting it up, you get a little warning which mentions you may encounter some problems. Because it's a PS4 game, I think it's a standard warning that you'll get on all PS4 games. But once that message vanishes from your screen, the game loads up normally, nothing looks any different. The game itself looks incredible to me, it still looks fantastic. I've touched on just a second ago what I think of the maps, I think they're visually very appealing. But the game looks really really nice, the lighting is nice and it's very very sharp. I suspect it's being rendered internally at a much higher resolution. I'm playing it on a 1080p monitor. If you want to see the monitor I'm using, I'll put a link in the video description to my review of the monitor that I'm using. But I'm playing it on a 1080p monitor. It looks fantastic and I think it's being super sampled down from a much higher resolution. So I suspect it's running on PS5 at a higher resolution and probably a slightly more consistent 60 frames per second because it's on the more powerful PS5 console than it would have been back in the days of the PlayStation 4 when this game actually came out. The game ran very well on PS4 as well, a pretty steady 60 frames per second I believe, but I'm not noticing any drops or any issues at all running on the more powerful PS5 hardware and it does look really really nice, really sharp as well. Have I encountered any issues when I've been playing this game? No, other than one, and I don't actually think it was the fault of the PS5. I was playing in a game using one of the, I think it was the R3K variants, which I believe is a three burst assault rifle. And I was one bursting people quite a lot in the game and a few people quit. And I actually just one burst someone and then it came up looking for a new host. So I think they quit the game. And then it came up that it was sending packets and it reached 8%. And then the game froze. It didn't freeze my console, so I had to go back to the PlayStation menus and close the game. But other than that, I've had no issues whatsoever. And I believe that was probably the fault of Infinite Warfare itself being unable to find a new host. But other than that, the game has played flawlessly for me. So next, let's have a little discussion about the controller. Now I've played this game on, let me think, I've actually played it on all of the Xbox consoles starting on the Xbox One and I've played it on all of the PS4 consoles, PS4, PS4 Pro and now on the PS5 and I played it on the Xbox One X as well. So I've played it across a variety of consoles and unquestionably in my opinion this game plays a lot better or easier if you can use a controller which has got paddles or buttons in the back to assist with jumping and sliding and so on. You can do all of that without taking your right thumb off the right thumbstick. Obviously playing on PlayStation 5 I can't do that at the moment. I'm using the standard controller. And I'm personally not a fan of holding a controller in different ways that are 
different to the normal, uh, such as the claw and so on. I personally think it can hurt your hands. It's not good to play like that. Just in my opinion, it's not good for me. So when I'm trying to jump in this game, you can set up in the control scheme so that you can jump using the bumper buttons or you can jump using the triggers and so on. And it actually works okay, but it's definitely not as good as having a dedicated controller and I, which has got paddles in the back. And I don't personally find it quite as comfortable to hold a controller in that manner where you've maybe got a finger on both the bumper and the trigger at the same time. It's just not as good as having the paddles in the back of the controller, in my opinion. But as you'll hopefully see in this gameplay, I can still play quite well doing that. And aiming is not a problem at all. I can still aim very well. I love aiming with a PlayStation 5 controller. I just wish I had some paddles on the back. So that's it for my thoughts on the game. Absolutely fantastic. It looks great. And as you can see, we've just got that deatomizer strike. So you can still play this game very well on the PlayStation 5 and it's still a blast for me to play it. Now just to finish off, this video is going to be published on the 23rd of December, a couple of days before Christmas. I'm really excited for Christmas and I hope you are too. I hope you all have a fantastic, very merry Christmas. It's been a difficult year, so I hope it's extra special for you. And if you're buying yourself any presents or you're looking to get any presents regarding gaming, be it a new game, be it a new controller, be it one of the new consoles, maybe it's a new monitor, let me know in the comments section what you're getting or hoping to get. I'd love to hear about that and have some discussion in the comments. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for another video.